Chapter 10, Playing with Patterns. Wow, Apu, this is awesome. How did you do that? I picked two of my favorite shapes and just repeated them to make this pattern. We see patterns all around us every day. There are patterns in brick walls, grills on windows, and sometimes even on the clothes that you wear. All patterns have a rule they follow. Look at these patterns and see if you can spot the rule. What is the rule for this pattern? One triangle is pointing up and one is pointing down. And do you see how it just continues throughout? So that's the rule for this pattern. Let's look at this other one. So what do you think is the rule for this pattern? Now we have a whole bunch of arrows here. The directions of the arrows change clockwise. So you see that is the rule in this particular pattern. Let's look at some growing patterns. So let's draw some blocks over here. So here we have a series of blocks. Here there is one, here's two, there's three, and four here. So each step, the block increases by one. This is called a growing pattern. Now let's look at something different, number patterns. Here's the first number pattern that we look at. This has five, 15, 25, 35, 45, and so on. So you see, each time the number increases or grows by 10 numbers. Likewise, here in the other number pattern, Let's take a look at this. It's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, etc. In the third pattern we have 49, 42, 35, 28, 21, and 14, etc. Now in the fourth number pattern, we have 10A, 11B, 12C, 13D, 14E, 15F, and 16G. Now can you spot the rules in these four number patterns? We've already talked about the first one, how it increases or grows by 10 numbers. Now in the second one, each number increases by two. In the third pattern, we see that each number decreases by seven. And here in the last number pattern, each number increases by one, and each time the letter of the alphabet also goes to the next letter. Here is a secret message. 1M, 1A, 1T, 1H, 1I, 1S, 1F, 1U, 1N, 1. Do you think you can spot the pattern and read the secret message? The message is hidden between the ones. Let's erase them and we see that the message is math is fun. It sure is, isn't it? When you keep on coming up with all these patterns, it gets more and more fun.